Hey folks, Brian Blessing, glad to be with you here at ATS.io. It's a PGA Tour event, but it's an alternate field event, the Puerto Rico Open. We have the WGC event that's being played at Bradenton, Florida, so the top 64 in the world, they're there. Somebody's going to cash a nice number here, and they're going to pick up 300 FedEx Cup points for the win. It's the Puerto Rico Open, and we're looking at a course, par 72, 7,506 yards, the Grand Reserve Country Club. The story of this tournament is that eight of the last 12 winners have made this their first PGA Tour win. Now, what they're going to do is throw the top 10 from the Corn Ferry Tour an exemption to get into this event. And believe me, the guys on the Corn Ferry Tour can play, and someone's going to you know, find themselves in a real happy spot at the end of this weekend. Now, there are some name players that are here that have an opportunity to get the win. Emiliano Grillo and Matt Wallace, the Englishman, are the co-favorites on the board uh, at 16-1, to 1, along with Thomas Peters, uh, who can hit it a mile coming over from the European Tour. But Ian Poulter is the highest-ranked player who's also on the board at 16-1. to 1. Poulter has had a resurgent of form, uh, but now mostly he's been over on the European Tour. Now kind of shows up again. In, in, watch out for a guy like Poulter. Remember when he needed that win at Houston to get into the Masters? And when he has an opportunity, Poulter can kick the door down. Poulter's actually pretty interesting on the board at 16-1. to 1. Ben On's on the board at 20-1. to 1. A fall from Grace, pardon the pun. Brandon Grace in this alternate field event is on the board at 20 to 1. Other names you've heard of, Andrew Putnam is a 25 to 1. Patrick Rogers is a 25 to 1. A guy who I think is in decent form at the moment you could take a look at is Tom Lewis is on the board at 25 to 1. Jonathan Vegas, 35 to 1, is another guy that's uh, you know stepped up on occasion. Uh, watch out for a guy like Sam Ryder at 40 to 1. But the one name that's popped up on the California circuit a little bit of late, and it's like out of nowhere, but you saw his name, and don't forget the player's form. It's those three- to five-week form cycles. is a guy like Cameron Percy. Uh, you could take a look at 50-1. to one. But again, know that one of these Corn Ferry Tour guys, you could just fly up. Now, Zalatoris is actually the guy leading the way on the Corn Ferry Tour. Well, he's leading the way so much. He's actually playing in the WGC event, so Zalatoris is trying to kick an opportunity down on the big boy event. But this alternate field event, again, so many times we see a first-time PGA Tour winner here. Don't be afraid to swing for the fences. I think Cameron Percy's a guy maybe could knock the door down for you at 50-1. to 1. It's always fun talking golf with you. Thrilled to be with you here at ATS.io. We always enjoy joining Adam Burke on his outstanding podcast, and it comes your way each and every weekday.